Hey guys, today I will be showing you how to fix something with the Wii U. You can see Super Mario Sunshine is playing very wide. That's not right. Some people may like the widescreen thing, but it drove me crazy. I specifically have installed the GameCube games as virtual console apps onto an external drive, not through the USB loader GX thing. So I don't have access to the Nintendo settings on the virtual Wii. Everybody's been saying adjust it in Nintendo settings in the virtual Wii mode, uh, but it doesn't work because the virtual Wii Nintendo can't see games because of the way that I've installed them. And it's really been driving me crazy because I want to play GameCube games in their original 4x3 aspect ratio on my 4K TV. The Wii U upscales it via HDMI and it looks good, I have no complaints. All the games work like this, except a couple. It seems like Simpsons Hit and Run does not adhere to specific settings that I've chose. So while it will be 4x3 ratio, which is a 1.33 ratio, it's not actually. I did the measurement on my screen with a tape measure and I did the math. It turns out that Simpsons Hit and Run and a couple of the other games developed by that same developer, they don't adhere to these video size tweaks that you have to do in Nintendo. So they just load up in a slightly squished, slightly under 4x3 ratio, which is for me better than the ultra wide it was playing as originally. So uh, without a further ado, I will cut to instructions on the computer and you'll just hear me talking. All right, guys, I got my SD card loaded in the computer, and let's go ahead and open up our Tcon Moon Wii VC injector. Pretty simple, we're gonna choose GameCube Retail Injection. Don't choose anything else here. Don't load up a game ISO or anything. I'm assuming you guys have already loaded your games up onto the Wii, so the Wii U, so you already know how to do all that stuff. Um, this is separate. This is gonna be a universal change. Um, GameCube GC Retail Injection, top right here. Okay guys, once you've chosen Nintendo SD card menu, the SD card menu pops up. Make sure your SD card shows up in the SD card list here. If not, you can hit reload drive list and it should just see it. You will see that the only thing checked here is auto video width. Uncheck that. Now make sure you check mem card emulation, set that to 251. That'll set a universal setting for the whole thing and then choose your video width at the bottom right down to B720. I did the math by measuring the literal screen <laughs> Um, 720 will give you that 4 by 3 ratio. Then hit generate Nintendo config file. Generation will be complete, hit OK, and that will be it. Then you can close out of the menus, close out of the app, and then eject your SD card, and you'll be good to go. Let's go pop it in the Wii U. All right, guys, we're gonna pop the SD card into the Wii U right here. You can see the Wii U is indeed off the red light. Let's go ahead and turn her on. Now remember, these changes don't seem to apply for whatever reason, unless you power cycle. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick. The number two tip today is how to get this stuff to work. So what I found out upon trial and error and frustration of looking at the black screen many times is that when you change your settings on your SD card, whether it's adding apps or whatever to the install folder on your Wii U SD card um, that you've hacked through Tiramisu or whatever other hack, a lot of times the Wii U won't read the card correctly so I've found that RetroArch, I've found that GameCube games won't load up, it'll freeze. And the simplest thing I can say is just plug the SD card in, turn the system on, let it fully boot up, and then power down the system once. And generally that seems to, for some reason, do the trick. Turn it back on. Okay guys, we've made our change universally to the Nintendo settings, put it in the Wii U, power cycled it, and now we're gonna go ahead and see if it works. It should work, this is what I did last time. Um, and it made all my games play 4x3, which is um, ideal. You want your games to look the way they're supposed to look. Don't stretch them out. It's weird. It's weird. It's like using the smoothing filter. It's terrible. Nobody recommends it. I don't recommend it. And there we go. Yeah. I'm capturing this, uh, my little external recorder. So you should see it right now that it is indeed correct. Oh yeah, hell yeah. And you see it on here too. Whereas before it was stretched out, now Super Mario Sunshine plays correct.
Correct. One more for shits and giggles. The only thing I don't like about the Wii U is that it's slow. It's slow to load. All right, Mario Kart Double Dash. Let's get some audio in here. Doesn't that just look great? Nice four by three image. Looks delicious. I love it. Anyways, that's it. So have fun with your four by three GameCube games playing correctly. Okay guys, now that we've fixed two things that everybody I think seems to be having a hard time with online, have fun. Enjoy your GameCube games the way they're meant to be viewed. Four by three. Not square, but four by three. So that's what the old TVs were, that's how it should look. And it looks great. Wii U does a really good job upscaling them. Couldn't be happier. I wish the instructions for Nintendo was a little bit clearer, but hopefully this helps the internet. And if you think it helped you, smash that like, hit it, whatever, uh, subscribe. Let people know about my channel. Um, I'm gonna be doing more of these kinds of things, but I had to get this out there first. Uh, the next few videos are going to be Dreamcast upgrades, I'm doing an Xbox teardown, I have a Sony CRT that I've rebuilt. Lots of videos to come, lots of videos to come. So please hit like and subscribe and then hit that bell for notifications. Thanks guys. Happy